All right. Yep. Welcome back. You're watching Liquid Lunch on Biz TV. Uh, also have uh, quite the strong audience out there on the social media land. I want to thank everybody for tuning in, giving me your feedback. Um, if you want to uh, get a little inside track on what's happening, you can always check us out on Facebook at Liquid Lunch TV. And uh, by the way, we're just almost to a thousand followers on our Liquid Lunch YouTube page. So if anybody could maybe this weekend share some of this stuff and ask your friends to follow us. It's like good for YouTube. They actually let our videos get seen by more people um, if we can demonstrate that there's a bigger audience that really likes us. Um, still working on my Parler account. We're doing great. Jess, how many, uh, we just joined Parler. If any of you people that are getting put in Facebook jail and all this other sh stuff. Um, where are we? 300, we're 300 at 300 in uh, just like two days. In like 36 hours, we're at 300 people, which is nice. So if you didn't check out Parler, and I know a whole bunch, I joined also, a lot of people followed me, thank you. Uh, can't name them all, but they're coming in steady. And, uh, you know, it continues to boggle my mind why there aren't many more people on television willing to say simple truths. And, and, and I mean this. These are like simple truths. And I, I spent some time with my kids last night. We had dinner. We were talking. And, and my, my daughter, Victoria, she's 21 years old. She's going to be a senior in a nursing program at Wagner College. Okay. Really sane kid. 3.8 index and all this other stuff. Okay. She's going to be a great nurse. And she's a great woman. But she said, Daddy, I don't understand how anyone that's normal can say it's good to defund the police. That's what she said to me. She goes, I just don't understand. And I said, Tori, well, I know you don't understand because we're sane. <laughs> you know what I mean? But there are insane people in this world who don't think they need cops or want cops anymore until they need cops. It's just like the mayor of Seattle was all uh, summer love. It's like, a, it's like a street fair. It's a festival. And then the mob came to their house with torches and pitchforks. And who she do? She calls 911 and her private security force. And uh, by the way, if Bill de Blasio here in New York is any sort of man of his word, which we know he's not, by the way, his real name also is uh, Warren Wilhelm. He changed his name three times in life to go from Warren Wilhelm um, to Bill de Blasio. Okay, that's supposedly his name. But he's really Warren Wilhelm. And he's not a man of his word, but... The first thing that should be cut is his private security detail because it's a summer of love. I mean, those guys, believe me when I tell you, my, my father was a cop. His partner and one of his best friends, Dennis Martin, and uh, my, my cousin Bobby Fisher, they were on the city hall detail, and, the, and they were there all the time. Those guys like who travel with the mayor, they get tons of overtime, and they all get cars to take home and everything else. Let's put those guys in a place where, where they're needed more, in their own home communities where they could teach some young guys. These are veterans, you know what I mean? Let's take away de Blasio's uh, security force first and let him... Walk the streets like every other regular yeoman, okay? Um, special thanks and congrats to uh, my good buddy since high school, Peter Devine. Um, just retired yesterday, uh, just recently, uh, not yesterday, but I found out yesterday. After 25 years of uh, brave and uh, arduous uh, service to NYPD, and, uh, you know, there's a big group text of a bunch of my buddies, and everyone was congratulating him, and, and he says, you know, it's time because the mayor and the city no longer have our backs. And that's how every single cop feels. Not only here, but in every city that has a blue mayor and every state that has a blue governor who doesn't stand up and say, leave my cops alone. And it's going to keep happening. More guys are going to retire. They just canceled the new. We'll probably be down almost 10% of the police force here in New York um, from attrition early retirements and the cops they just forced out of the academy. So this is going to be David Dinkins era will be will be like a carnival. OK, that would be a street fair. This is going to be all out mayhem in New York City. And it's coming soon across the country. Everybody watching on Biz TV, you got a blue mayor. Believe me when I tell you the new rallying cry from Joe Biden to his energy secretary, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, to his 
probable VP, Kamala Harris, right down the line, Ilan Omar, who's going to be the Secretary of State. All these people want to defund the police. And it's just out of control. Anyhow, um, my buddy Joe Holt, who's a retired cop, okay, and a lot of people send me things, and sometimes I kind of put like my close friends out to the side because I like to connect with new people watching the show. But uh, my buddy Joe Holt, okay, he's the head man, runs all the operations at Monsignor Farrell High School, Catholic school guy, everything else, NYPD officer. What a guy, okay, beautiful kids he raised. I got this from him. It's an index card. I don't know if you could see that on my phone. It's an index card, okay? Simple, handwritten. It says, 13th Amendment. Abolish slavery. For those of you who don't remember your, you know, junior high school history, 13th Amendment. Abolish slavery. The vote. 100% of Republicans, 23% of Democrats. That was abolishing slavery. 76% of the Democrats voted against abolishing slavery. The 14th Amendment, 7th grade social studies, slaves were given citizenship in the 14th Amendment. Hey, okay, our forefathers did some horrible things, and now you guys can, so slavery is abolished, and you, you're actually citizens. You, we, we owe you, and you, you, you're in, okay? Giving slaves citizenship, 94% of Republicans, 0% of Democrats. So 100% of the Democrats voted against the 14th Amendment giving slaves citizenship. So let's find some of those Democrats there and find out where their statues are. Let's rip them down. Okay, let's leave Abraham Lincoln and Teddy Roosevelt and Christopher Columbus alone. Let's go for the 76% of Democrats who did not vote for the abolishing slavery. And let's go for the 100% of Democrats at that time. I'm going to get some names. We're going to find out where their statues are. Okay, and this is the best one where you can actually have a say in your representation. Okay. The 15th Amendment, ooh, still in the seventh grade. The 15th Amendment gave the right to vote for all men, okay? 100% of Republicans voted yes. 0% of Democrats. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. I'm going to do more history for you right after this.